So my girls share this bathroom. It's our guest bathroom and the counters are always looking like this. So here on Remodel Holic, we share DIY projects, we share tips, because we want to help you improve your home. So be sure to click the subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos that we have coming out each week. So Cassidy and I were tired of the counters always looking like this, so we came up with a solution. We, we wanted to do this in a wall and we thought it'd be really cool and this was the perfect opportunity for it. So today we're gonna show you how we built this bathroom built in inside the wall to add five more shelves to our bathroom and get everything off the counter. Where would you install a shelf like this in your house? Let us know in the comments below. We love to read them. So to start on this project, I marked the top, the bottom, the sides of where I wanted to start cutting out the drywall. Right here is where the stud goes up and down on this corner of the wall. I'm just gonna draw a line right up and down where that stud is and cut along that line and then center the built-ins based on this first side. I like working as clean as possible, so right here I'm using my cutting tool and a vacuum right underneath it to collect all the dust from it. Now here's the other side drawn on the wall ready to be cut next. So both sides of the opening are centered on the wall. Now we get to see what's behind the wall and make sure we don't have any studs in the way. Okay, I got the sheetrock cut out. And it looks like the previous owners put insulation in there just for, probably for noise barrier in the bathroom. But that's basically where the shelf's going to go, right in that spot. So now I'm gonna remove all this insulation and then I'm gonna take some two by fours, probably reinforce this edge right here and up on top and on the bottom. I'm making sure that the 2x4 is level and then I'm going to drive some drywall screws through the drywall right into that 2x4. And those screws will be just enough to hold that 2x4 in place. I'm also adding more screws up the side of the 2x4, the existing 2x4 that's there, so that the drywall is secure to it. So if my studs were 16 inches on center, I wouldn't have to have this extra board that I'm putting in. So this board basically represents another stud at 16 inches on center. So what we're thinking here is the back of the sheetrock is going to be the back of the built-in shelves. So we're just gonna smooth it out, patch any holes, and call it good. So the next step now is to build the frame. We're not gonna have adjustable shelves, they're all gonna be fixed. So I went in SketchUp and I figured out exactly how big I wanted everything to be and um, how I wanted it to look. And I showed it to Cassidy, she loves it, she thinks it's gonna be great. So now it's time to put it together. So the frame's gonna be 14 and a half inches wide and 67 and a half inches tall. Oh, and so the two by four is three and a half inches deep. So from the front of the drywall to the back of the drywall, is actually four inches because we have a half an inch of drywall. So what I did is I bought some boards that are wider than four inches. I'm gonna cut them down to width at four inches. So the total depth of my built-in is gonna be four inches. And then the back of the wall is going to be the drywall. We're just gonna paint that. So first of all, to get started, I'm cutting down the boards to four inches wide. So I'm gonna have four one inch thick shelves and I'm gonna use this material right here for that. And then the rest is gonna be for the outside of the box. So the leftover piece from cutting the sides to four inches, 
These are gonna work out perfect for the little fence that we're making at the end of each shelf. Now I'm cutting all the shelves to length, the two top pieces, and then I'll cut the two side pieces to length. All right, here are my four shelves, one inch thick. Here's my two, my, here's my top and bottom of the box. And here are the two sides. So this is five eighths of an inch thick, five eighths of an inch thick, and this is one inch. Before I put the frame together, I'm gonna to round off the front edge of the top and bottom piece that joins up against the sides. It'll look really good in the end, and I'll show you how that turned out. So I'm gonna use my speed square, and I'm gonna set up all the marks where the shelves need to be, so when I set it on the side, I can line it up glue it and nail it in place. And I laid both sides down together so that I can take my speed square straight across and mark both sides at the same time. So I'm all ready to assemble all these pieces together. I'm just gonna use glue. I'm gonna be using the Titebond 2 and some brad nails and then let it sit for about a half an hour, maybe put a couple clamps on it, and then we will be ready to go put it in place in the bathroom. So MDF is a great product for this project because it is easy to paint, easy to work with, and it, it's nice and straight. We won't have to worry about warping, anything like that. Just double checking here to make sure everything's square while it's drying. I'll be able to, once it's in the wall cavity, I'll be able to square it up for sure when I install it. Now I'm gonna let that dry for about 30 minutes before I move it and put it in the bathroom. Okay, so here it is. Here's the frame I just built in the shop. And all I have to do is put it in place and level it out. So I measured it out so I had a little bit of wiggle room. I'm gonna use some shims to square it up and then nail it in place with the brad nail gun. That's pretty close to level there. So what I'm gonna do is this is up against this stud right here, so I'm just gonna nail that in place. So the only place I'm gonna shim it is just right here. Just so it doesn't move around much. I am going to add another layer of molding over the top of this. And you can see that design right here. Uh, I've been working on it in SketchUp so that it, uh, I get the look that I want and the sizes that I want. All right, so this is installed. That's as far as I'm gonna go with putting in nails and shimming it. It's in there pretty square. So you can see here there's a little bit of a gap. That's fine because we're gonna caulk it. We're gonna caulk all those corners and paint it all. Now that the frame is installed inside the wall, I'm going to cut all the trim pieces to length I'm going to round off the edges where I cut it on the table saw or on the miter saw. You can also do this by hand if you didn't have a router. Okay, I've got everything cut except for these little railings here. And it's just going to go right in between this main frame and kind of keep stuff from falling off the shelves. And to give it a nice look and design for the overall finished look. I also wanted to make sure all the edges were sanded smooth, so I took a little bit of time and sanded the edges that were gonna be painted and then rounded off those edges that would be butted up against another piece of trim. So I'm gonna stand here and paint all these pieces, at least two coats, 
and I like to use a four inch foam roller because it gives it a nice smooth finish. There are times where I just like to pre-paint, put it up, and then just only do one more coat instead of having to do a couple coats. So right here, you're actually seeing the trim for the built-ins, for around the pocket door, and the baseboards. So I was painting all those at once. Now that everything's painted, I'm gonna use a brad nail gun and nail them in place. So for the trim piece in front of the shelf, I'm gonna line up the bottom of that piece with the bottom of the shelf and then nail it in place. I'm gonna leave off part of the railing that sits above the shelves so I can get in there and caulk and paint and then I'm gonna glue that piece in place when it's all done. So I'm gonna patch the holes with DAP patch and paint. This product's really nice because it dries really fast and you don't even have to sand if you don't want to. Now that everything's installed on the wall, I'm gonna caulk all the edges, fill in all the gaps. So we use this a lot throughout the house for all of our trim work. So we can paint it within an hour and it's white. We tend to do a lot of white trim. So when you're caulking, you just wanna make sure you have a wet rag with you Put the caulk in the corner and just wipe it off with your finger and then wipe it smooth with the rag if you need to. After about an hour, you'll be able to come back and paint it. Now that I've given the patch time to dry, I'm gonna sand it off a little bit and then I'm ready to paint everything. All right, so I forgot to do something. I'm gonna paint the back of this with drywall paint so that the other paint doesn't soak in so much and have to have multiple coats. So we're gonna do that real quick. Now that the drywall paint is all dry, I'm gonna start putting on the final white color that I'm gonna use. So we're going to use an ultra pure white. This is something we use all over the house. It's an eggshell and we like it on our trim. We like it all over the walls. So I ended up painting about three coats of white just to make sure everything was covered equally. It is a bathroom, so a lot of steam, stuff like that. We don't want any water damage on the wood. So getting a nice coverage is really important. Once all the shelves were painted, the last thing I need to do is install the little railing an inch and a half above the shelf. I ended up just gluing the rails in place with the Rapid Fuse glue by DAP. And then I went through and touched it up with a little bit of paint to finish it off. All right, so there you have it. We have five new shelves in the bathroom, more space to store things and be better organized. So what do you think? Give us a thumbs up if you could use some more shelves in your bathroom. And you can click here to get a download of this project. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you in the next video.